We're off to Dubbo. We're talking Canberra. New sports and gear. We're talking Canberra. Two double C. We're talking Canberra. I wonder what the temperature is in Dubbo. We're heading for a lovely top of 20 degrees uh, with showers, 13 degrees presently in the capital, and it does feel like 13. Uh, but Lily Cardis is a reporter for Nine News Central West in Dubbo. And that weather report for Dubbo, Lily, I wonder what the uh, what the uh, the rain will do, whether it'll hold off or not. Good morning to you. Welcome to our Canberra listeners, Lily Cardis. Good morning, Tim. How are you? Look, I'm very well. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they're going west towards you this morning. They're visiting you in Dubbo, the second day of their Australian tour. What's the build-up been like in Dubbo? And what a local sink of the Royal Visit, Lily? It's been amazing here in Dubbo. The vibe has really just lifted. The shop fronts are covered in signage. There's cutouts and decals of Harry and Meghan everywhere. There's Union Jacks that are completely covering the town. It's a really excited and positive atmosphere, and I think it's really given um, all the people in Dubbo something really exciting to look forward to. What time do they arrive, Lily? Um, they'll be arriving at 10.20 this morning at Dubbo Airport. And what are they doing? We're doing a couple of things. At first, at 10.30, they're visiting the Royal Flying Doctor Service, which is right near Dubbo Airport. Then at 11.30, they're meeting with a local farming family to discuss the recent droughts. And at 12.30, they're having a community barbecue at Victoria Park, which uh, is the local chance to get a glimpse of the royal couple. And then at 2 p.m., they're meeting um, some, some students at a local school. That is great. Have you had much rain up there, Lily, in recent days and weeks? Oh, in the last week we've had a scattering here and there, which is just enough to put a little tinge of green to the paddocks, but it's really just not enough. Farmers are really calling for more. Yeah, and it'll be interesting. Dubbo's um, forecast today, a high of 25 degrees, showers expected, a storm likely. So it'll be interesting. The royal couple arrive and they break the drought. That'd be a good story for nine years, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. We're all here with our wet weather gear ready to go. I mean, everyone's excited with their royal frocks, but I don't think those are really practical for today. I was a young 27-year-old Australian, and I happened to meet and kiss the hand of Diana, Princess of Wales, back on the uh, 31st of January 1988, the mother of Prince Harry. You're a young Australian. What do you think about the Harry, the Meghans, the Williams and the Cates? Do they issue, um, I guess, a new sense of relatability? You know, you're a young Australian. Do, they, do you relate to them? You are a member of the media, but just take your media hat off for a minute. What do young friends of yours think about this royal family representative group? Are they celebrities or are they the future that will bind the royal family together and uh, toward a, a strong future? Maybe it will be uh, King William. What are your thoughts personally? I think they, I mean, they do have a bit of a celebrity status, especially when it comes to weddings. Everybody loves the dress and everyone's talking about what they're wearing, what they're doing. But I think this new um, this new era of royals are really very down to earth. Um, they're, have a, they're very kind and they seem to have a very um, warm soul. And if you just look at the way um, Harry and Meghan look at each other, they, they're so in love which is, and they really do display um, just a warm and kind kind of... Um, it, it feeling an atmosphere which has been quite different to previous royals where they very much had the, you know, a poker face on. So yeah, yeah. I think, I think they, they could be. Yeah, and it's in an interesting point too, you know, the, the, the touch of Hollywood. Meghan Markle, a very successful actress in her own right, but there is no question that Harry and Meghan don't love each other. You're right. When they look at each other, there is that sense of real camaraderie, love, companionship and now this great news about the baby one of our listeners, John from Flynn yesterday, we were uh, thinking about baby names, he thinks the child should be called Prince Dubbo, what do you reckon Lily? I mean, maybe if it's a boy but I have heard yes. around well, I wouldn't the call them... that if it's a girl, it I could don't be think... a Rana a ra Hey, what? if it's a girl, what? If the, if, the, if the baby is a girl, it could be Arana. Oh, Arana. Remind my listeners the important significance of the name O-R-A-N-A. -A. Um, Arana is the name of the region in Dubbo. Um, I think it's a traditional local name. It is, absolutely. We're going to get your report on Nine News, of course. You're filing for Nine News Central West. You're going to be there in Dubbo. Uh, if you could say anything in the world to Harry, what would it be, Lily? 
Thank you for choosing Dubbo. You're, the, the people here, they, they need it. They've had a really tough year and it's just so exciting to have uh, such a, uh, an amazing young couple in the town to brighten the spirits and just have something amazing well, you've to brought, look forward to. You've brightened our spirits this morning. Thank you for being there and we'll look forward to your report on Nine News right around the country. Good on you, Lily. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you, Lily.